Breaking news from the world of AI, OpenAI has published a paper on why models hallucinate and the answer is super simple. The paper is the result of work done along with Georgia Tech and it goes into some of the problems in pre-training as well as post-training that could lead to these hallucinations. Now, we've all seen the hallucinations. When you ask ChatGPT when is somebody's birthday, it will rather make up a date than say, I don't know. Or, for example, you can ask it to collect a bunch of links that provide information about XYZ. It may even start off with collecting the right types of links and then it will start making up these links which are just hallucinated. They look like real links, but they lead to nowhere. The fascinating thing this paper uncovers is that LLMs behave much like humans in terms of expecting the right rewards and hence whatever gets them the right reward is exactly how they're going to consider their outputs. It turns out that they have a binary reward system right now. We as humans either like their output or we don't. And in fact, we like their outputs much better when they sound confident. So even when they're wrong, they've learned to be super confident of their responses. So instead of treating these reward systems as binary, if we start rewarding these models to actually say, I don't know, or encourage them to say, I don't know, turns out they will hallucinate less. But the answer in the user experience realm is a little more complicated than that because we as humans, when we're looking for answers, we're impatiently looking for answers. We just want somebody to be confidently telling us what the answer is so that we can walk away confident that we know the answer. So truth is we don't really want to hear the I don't knows and the maybes. What we're going to have to do instead is start building verification systems that act as truth enforcers on top of the LLMs. It won't be perfect, but it will reduce hallucinations to a large extent. People who are building AI apps like us have already started doing this. We, for instance, build a verification system on top of our live research agent to ensure that the sources we're bringing for our research are legitimate sources and that the information coming from those sources is most likely true. So it's very possible that going forward, we'll start seeing these verifiers become part of the LLM infrastructure in some way. Because we as humans are very emotionally driven and we're very poor at enforcing these rewards in the right way. Talk about parenting. If we could enforce the right set of rewards, we would all have much better children.